Forensic Tales, Terrifying Stories, This Happens in the Morgue, Episode 1. In the dark early hours, in the city of Santiago, Chile, a young man was getting ready to face a night. With just two months of experience since graduating from university, Marcelo was eager to prove himself in a field he was still exploring. Accompanied by his passion for cigarettes and solitude, that night was far beyond what he could have imagined. Shadows in the Morgue, Marcelo's Paranormal Night Marcelo, a 29-year-old newly graduated forensic specialist, was working the night shift at the morgue in Santiago, Chile on the early morning of September 26, 1989. With only two months of experience in his new job, he felt excited and somewhat nervous about the responsibilities he faced, yet also eager to prove his worth in the field of forensic medicine. The night was dark and quiet, with the morgue illuminated only by the dim light of lamps. Marcelo had been busy for hours conducting autopsies and external examinations on the bodies that had arrived that day. His fondness for cigarettes kept him company in these solitary moments, and he occasionally allowed himself a short break to smoke and calm his nerves. Around 1 a.m., Marcelo began to feel a strange sensation, as if someone were watching him. He tried to dismiss the idea, attributing it to fatigue and the peculiar atmosphere of the morgue at night. However, as he continued his work, that feeling intensified, and a shiver ran down his spine. While performing an autopsy, Marcelo noticed the light starting to flicker intermittently. He tried to ignore it and carry on with his task, but then he heard a faint whisper that seemed to come from somewhere in the morgue. He paid attention, trying to identify the source of the sound, but everything fell silent again. He decided to take a break and step out into the corridor to smoke a cigarette and calm down. As he inhaled the smoke, he noticed a figure moving in the shadows at the end of the hallway. He stood still for a moment, watching attentively. The figure appeared to be a shadow, with undefined features, yet it seemed to have a humanoid shape. Marcelo felt a knot in his stomach and a wave of fear washed over him. Doubting whether his mind was playing tricks on him, he slowly approached the figure. As he got closer, the shadow seemed to fade away, as if it were sliding backward. Marcelo felt his heart pounding and decided to keep advancing. When he finally reached the spot where he had seen the shadow, there was nothing there. Just a feeling of coldness and an inexplicable sense of presence. Marcelo shivered and quickly stepped back, not understanding what was happening. He decided to return to his work table, where the incomplete autopsy awaited. As the night progressed, Marcelo felt increasingly uneasy. The lights continued to flicker, and on more than one occasion, he thought he saw movements in the peripheral shadows. The whisper returned, this time closer and clearer, but he couldn't make out the words. Finally, Marcelo finished his shift and left the morgue at dawn, feeling an overwhelming sense of relief as he left behind the terrifying experience. Despite his attempts to find rational explanations, he couldn't deny that he had experienced something out of the ordinary that night. Over time, Marcelo shared his experience with some colleagues, but many were skeptical and tried to find logical explanations. Some mentioned the possibility that stress, fatigue, and suggestion played a role in what he had experienced. Marcelo, on his part, carried on with his work, but he could never forget that night in the Santiago morgue, an experience that left him wondering about the limits of what we can comprehend in the world of forensic medicine and beyond. Conclusion As the first rays of dawn began to filter into the morgue, Marcelo left behind a night that had pushed him to the brink between the rational and the inexplicable. That terrifying experience, filled with flickering lights, moving shadows, and incomprehensible whispers, clung to his memory. Though he continued his career as a forensic specialist, the night he confronted paranormal phenomena in the depths of the Santiago morgue would always stand out in his mind as the mysteries that sometimes hide beyond our understanding in the dark corners of the night.